Beloved Masters, we will continue our review and expansion on some of the most important techniques and information we have given you over the past 22 years. It is time to release, transmute, or upgrade many of the old restricting thought forms and structures that you have accepted as your personal reality. If you will spend some time in meditation and contemplation, reviewing the structures you have created in your third slash fourth dimensional reality, which include mental, emotional, physical, and even some spiritual restrictions, you will quickly determine that it is time to release many of the ties that bind you so that you may move quickly and gracefully into the expanding, empowering world of the future. Many of you feel as if you are in the final stretch of a long, difficult race and your energy and enthusiasm are lagging. You are growing more and more disenchanted with the glamour of your worldly existence, and the things that used to excite you seem somewhat tarnished and dull. It is because you are shifting in and out of two vastly different realities or several dimensions at once, and your four lower bodily systems, physical, mental, emotional, and etheric, are trying adjust to and catch up with your soul-slash-spiritual self. This has put much stress and strain on your earthly vessel. A vast number of you have and are making a quantum leap into galactic consciousness, whereby your old world-slash-state of being is falling away much faster than you can integrate the refined energies-slash-vibrations and concepts of your new, higher frequency existence. As you become aware of what is taking place, you will not be so stressed out and confused. Please believe us when we say, relief is at hand. One of our greatest desires is to assist you in the process so that your transition can be accomplished with ease and grace. Over these many past years, that was what much of the information, meditations, and exercises we have given you have been about, transmuting old negative energy patterns. This process is necessary to make way for the infiltration and integration of the rarefied cells of Creator Light the higher frequency, powerful new rays of individualized expression from the Supreme Creator. The first part of this process was building your pyramid of power slash light in the fifth dimension. When you created this wondrous place, you set the stage for the quantum leap we have spoken about. The magnificent refined energies of the Supreme Creator cannot beam down directly onto the earth or into the third slash lower fourth dimensional environment. Much of humanity and a great many of places on earth are still not ready for this gift, it would create too much chaos among the masses and to your planet. Therefore, it has to be dramatically stepped down or filtered in a way so that it will be accessible to all and for the greatest benefit. We have explained to you how radiant pyramid-shaped light stations are in place throughout this sub-universe, within every dimension and sub-dimension, wherein you left an etheric replica of yourself each time you fragmented or separated your essence into smaller and smaller masculine and feminine facets of consciousness. Your etheric life-slash-light cord weaves a path throughout this sub-universe. The filament of divine light which connects you to each of the fragments of self is also firmly connected to your magnificent God Self slash I Am Presence, our Mother slash Father God within the Great Central Sun, and ultimately, to the Supreme Creator. When you go into the World Pyramid of Light, which contains a holographic replica of the world, and breathe in love slash light from the Creator and breathe out sacred, unconditional love, this wondrous energy is filtered or diluted so that it can be received by all who are ready and willing to open their heart center, thereby initiating the process of transformation into a galactic spiritual slash human being. When you go into your personal pyramid or build a pyramid for a specific project or task, you open the way for the full force, variety, and spectrum of the new rays of expression to pour into your temple of light and to assist you in your endeavors. You are opening your personal gateway to abundance as you create a sacred space for the God-mind to join you in the co-creative process. Remember, we have told you many times, you are masters of co-creation, you have just forgotten. Also remember that abundance comes in a multitude of forms. The infinity breath process is another way of accessing the new energies of creation. As you ignite the ascension chakra located at the top of the spinal column and at the base of the brain, you begin the process of opening the gateway to galactic consciousness. This major ignition point is a vital part of the current human evolution process. All of humanity was programmed for this event, and sooner or later, it will take place in each individual soul on Earth. As you breathe the infinity breath and see it looping down into the Earth and out into the ethers, 
you are also helping to make this awesome gift available to the first, second, third, and fourth dimensions, and every facet of God consciousness therein. Learning to maintain the appropriate level of Alpha Awareness is also an important tool. It assists you in achieving and maintaining the proper balance in your energy slash auric field, whereby you become a finely tuned, harmonious instrument, thereby projecting only frequencies of love slash light without any discord. In a past message, we also introduced you to the term Metavision, which is a state of magnified, focused awareness, whereby you are always attuned to the wisdom of your higher self and I am presence. This is one of the benefits of becoming an Alpha Master. When using Metavision, you become an observer as well as a participant of life. You will rapidly filter out any negative thought patterns as you learn to allow only the highest creator truth to enter your force field and take dominion within your being. Your conceptual vision and intuition are greatly expanded beyond the norm. You could liken it to the viruses that are so rampant in your worldwide web of computer technology. There are those who are bombarding you with destructive energies, for whatever reason, and also those who send fraudulent or negative slash low frequency mailings. You must set up barriers slash filters and reject these messages slash energies in every way possible, and it is important that you stay vigilant and one step ahead of them. It is the same with the subtle energies that proliferate the collective consciousness of humanity you must filter out any discordant energy, allowing no contamination, only allowing those thought vibrations which are in harmony with your master self. Whereas the rays of your solar system and galaxy have been assigned numbers 1 through 12, the new rays of which we speak will be known by their qualities of expression. Do not worry about colors, for they can be a mix of any or all the other rays, however you wish to express them. You are the artist, the builder, and qualifier of these rays, and the creative potential is limitless. These rays, which could be called sub-rays of the twelve major rays of this sub-universe, will radiate the luminescence and power of the Supreme Creator equals S Light Essence. These rays are to be used somewhat differently than the seven rays of your solar system and the five rays of higher consciousness. They can be used in a great variety of combinations and ways, for they are very specialized energies. Let us begin with your physical vessel, go into your work pyramid of light and lie on the crystal table. You might ask for the ray of health and vitality to radiate forth into your physical vessel, or the rays of beauty, youthfulness, coordination, strength power, elegance, clear seeing, clear hearing, flexibility, and any other attributes that come to mind that will enhance your physical well-being. Call on and activate only one or two of each ray equals S energies at one time. Know that your divine I am presence and your oversoul higher self will monitor the process, and will assure that you integrate only the appropriate amount of these powerful energies and no more. Your desire should not be for accelerated transformation only, but that the law of ease and grace apply, always. You are to enjoy the process, beloveds. The time of painful lessons, trauma, stress and failure can be over, if you will allow the process to work for you, by moving out of the realm of cause and effect or karma, and into the realms where the law of grace applies. Now focus on the emotional body, as you stand at the head of your crystal table, See your emotional body manifest and take form on the table. How does your emotional body appear to you? Study it for a moment and observe the different shades, colors and shapes that make up your emotional body. You might be surprised at what you see. If your inner sight is not activated at this time, ask that it be done, but in the meantime, just intuit the shape and colors that are present. Whatever you perceive will be valid, and if you keep practicing, your inner senses will sharpen into focus. You might start by asking for the frequencies of the ray of pure creator love to pour forth and fill you to overflowing, washing away all sense of inadequacy, guilt, shame, and doubt. Now, in turn, call on the ray of compassion, the ray of mercy and forgiveness, the rays of receptivity, passion, peace, harmony, benevolence, refined intuition, courage, and so on. Then see your emotional body being filled with each of these specific energies as you integrate the maximum amount that is appropriate for you at a particular time. Now focus on the mental body, again, stand at the head of your crystal table, and see your mental body manifest and take form on the table. 
How does your mental body appear to you? Is it strong and well defined, or is it muted with muddled and distorted colors? Ask that the rays of truth, will, valor, wisdom, intelligence, focus, creativity, divine thought, language slash patterns of light, sacred geometry, discipline, organization, scientific information, order, the ray of receiving, the ray of giving slash sharing, each in turn, flow down through the great generator crystal that hangs over the center of the table into your personal pyramid of light. Your I am presence will filter the essence of each ray of expression in its purest form into your etheric replica. See your pyramid being filled with the essence and power of each of these rays as they permeate everything within. Know that you will bring the gift of each ray back with you into the physical realm in which you presently reside. It is yours to claim, use and share as you truly step into your role as a co-creator with our Father slash Mother God. You may also focus on your etheric body, which contains the blueprint for your body of light. The etheric body surrounds the physical vessel, and the distortions and imperfections lodged there first before they manifested within the physical vessel. Now the process is being reversed. The essence of perfected creation of the physical form is stored within the etheric body, and you must fill that part of your being with harmonious light once more so that it will be accessible to your physical body. What does your etheric body look like? Can you see the dark webs of distorted energy throughout? Are there patches that are denser and darker than others? Where are they? This will tell you where your body is out of balance and in the most distress, and where it is likely that you will experience the next health crisis or disease. In addition, while in a light alpha state you may wish to concentrate on the physical body for a week or two as you prepare your body to receive and manifest these powerful energies. If you, in any way, begin to feel disoriented, not grounded, or uncomfortable, stop the process for a day or two before continuing. Let spirit be your guide and do not pattern your progress or transformation after that of anyone else. You are tapping into your own divine intelligence and you are activating your own creative genius. Each day, or as often as possible, take a few moments and tune into the intelligence of your physical vessel and your body elemental. This is your deep subconscious mind, which knew only perfection in the beginning but you have reprogrammed it with negative thoughts for centuries that gradually resulted in imperfection, discomfort, and disease. It is a somewhat lengthy process, but you are dissolving the negative thought forms and reinstalling the blueprint of perfection once more the Adam slash Eve Cadman body. This is part of the reason you are experiencing so many symptoms, disorientation, lethargy, inability to concentrate and so on. That which took hundreds of thousands of years to manifest is being reversed in an astoundingly short span of time. At least once a week, focus on your emotional body slash nature, and take stock of what has changed since the last time you tuned in. Do you feel more balanced and at peace? Are you better able to handle the stress of your everyday life? Are you more allowing or tolerant with the people around you? Are you able to focus on the big picture instead of the small story? What is better, or worse? What do you wish to change the most? Set priorities and then call on each particular ray of expression, as you gradually integrate all the refined attributes and energies of your new reality. Also focus on your mental body at least once a week. Are you thinking more clearly? Are you able to process and sort information in a more efficient way so that you may glean the wisdom of each experience or interaction? Are you more disciplined? Do you find it easier and more joyful to fulfill your obligations? Do you feel more attuned to your higher intelligence and have you had more inspiring, creative ideas? How has your consciousness shifted and what has changed as a result? Whenever you wish, you may identify and focus on the colors of the rays that are being projected to you, however first, please concentrate on the feeling qualities of each ray. Each time you integrate another ray of expression, your auric field will change. Henceforth, as you radiate the love slash light of the Creator, it will take on the magnified qualities of each ray you have absorbed. In doing so, you will begin to project your own unique ray of God light your gift to humanity. Beloveds, we are offering you one more way to access your full divine potential, that part of you that has been waiting for eons to reconnect with you. 
We can show you the way, but you must take the steps and move through the process. We promise it will be worth the effort. We extend our hands in comradeship as we blend our essence with yours. We send you rays of peace and joy, but most of all, we send you our love. I am Archangel Michael and I bring you these truths.